nine major companies involved in Apple's supply chain. Apple puts a great deal of effort into the monitoring of its suppliers. Relationships that help to make the tech giant a manager of one of the most efficient supply chain management systems on the market right now. Each year it releases a progress report outlining its supplier relationship efforts as well as a list of its top 200 suppliers, which account for 98% of its procurement. Below discusses 9 of the most prominent. Taiwan is one of Apple's top supplier regions, but this is somewhat of a smokescreen. Hanhai Precision Industry, Foxconn, HNHPF. Hanhai Foxconn is one of the major reasons that Taiwan is on the map for Apple. Foxconn is one of Apple's oldest and largest suppliers. The company has its headquarters in Taicheng, New Taipei City. However, while being based in Taiwan, Foxconn is often thought of as Apple's largest China supplier because of its vast number of Chinese supplier locations. In 2018, Foxconn had 35 supplier locations servicing Apple from Taiwan, China, India, Brazil, Vietnam, and the United States, and 29 of its 35 locations are in China. By 2021, Foxconn also helped Apple to branch out to India with one location there, as well as manufacturing in Brazil, eight locations in mainland China, and one each in Texas and Vietnam. Wistron is another Taiwan-based company that's also helping Apple expand into India. Wistron has four supplier locations with two in China, one in India, and one in Texas. A focus for Wistron in India has been printed circuit boards for iPhones. Pegatron Pegatron is another company rounding out the Taiwan lineup. It has its headquarters in Taiwan with only one Taiwan supplier location in Taiyuan. Pegatron's other nine locations include three sites in China along with sites in the Australia, Czech Republic, Japan, South Korea, Singapore, and the United States. Pegatron is similar to Foxconn in that it provides iPhone assembly. In general, China is a very important global region for Apple. The 2021 suppliers list shows Chinese and Hong Kong-based suppliers growing to account for a larger share than America and Japan. By physical location, China accounts for 156 of the total 615 production facilities. However, Apple has shared some concern over its dependence on China given the 2020 coronavirus outbreak as well as the Trump administration's new tariff rules. GoerTech and LuxShare are two Chinese companies that have been in the Apple supplier spotlight. Both companies agreed to set up productions in Vietnam to improve the manufacturing cost efficiency of the AirPod. GoerTech has four supplier locations, three in China and one in Vietnam. The company has its headquarters in Weifang, China. LuxShare is also in partnership with Apple for the production of the AirPods. It has four supplier locations with three in China and one in Vietnam. United States Despite its reliance on an international supply chain, Apple is also still very dependent on many companies in the US, including 3M, MMM, Broadcom, AVGO, Qualcomm, QCOM, Intel, INTC, Jabil, JBL, ON, ON, Micron, MU, and Texas Instruments, TXN. Other U.S. companies also include Corvo, QRVO, Skyworks, SWKS, and Corning, GLW. Qualcomm, Qcom. Qualcomm and Intel have made U.S. headlines over fierce legal actions. NASDAQ listed Qualcomm as a world leader in semiconductor, mobile, and telecom products and services. It is known to supply multiple electronic components to Apple including envelope power trackers, baseband processors, power management modules, and GSM-CDMA receivers and transceivers. These are various instruments used in device power management systems and in mobile signaling. Qualcomm has also come through for Apple devices, offering necessary modem technology. Modem technology is however at the core of the Apple, Intel, and Qualcomm 504 disputes. Apple announced it was buying Intel's smartphone modem business. This led to a lawsuit by Qualcomm which resulted in maintenance of the modem manufacturing relationship for Qualcomm even after the Intel acquisition. Intel, 
INTC. In July 2019, Apple announced its agreement with Intel to acquire the majority of its smartphone modem business. With the acquisition, Apple broadened its patent ownership and set up a strong plan for 5G development. Moreover, after the acquisition, the Mac used Intel processors, but in late 2020 began transitioning to Apple Silicon and Mac computers. On the 2021 supplier list, Intel reports 10 supplier locations, with four locations in the US and others in China, Ireland, Israel, Vietnam, and Malaysia. Other countries Murata Manufacturing Limited, MRE Murata is based in Kyoto, Japan. It supplies to Apple from 18 manufacturing facilities spread across Malaysia, Japan, Taiwan, Thailand, Vietnam, China, and Singapore. It has 10 supplier sites in Japan. Apple and Samsung are Murata's top two clients, procuring ceramic capacitors from the company. These electronic parts are used to control the flow of electricity in electronic devices. Samsung Samsung has its headquarters in South Korea. It supplies multiple components, including flash memory used for storing data content, the mobile DRAM used for multitasking various applications and devices, and the application processors responsible for controlling and keeping devices running. Despite being a competitor to Apple in the mobile phone market, Samsung uses its supplier status to reduce its own component manufacturing costs via bulk production. Supplier Relationships Apple is known to maintain one of the best managed supply chains in the world. Using its stature and global reach, the tech giant is able to demand high-quality products and impose stricter terms on its suppliers. When one of Apple's Chinese suppliers of tactic engines for the iPhone 7 proved unreliable, for example, the company quickly procured them from Japanese firm Nidec Corporation. Apple has hundreds of such suppliers willing to abide by the terms Apple sets forth. What's more, by outsourcing its supply chain and assembly operations, Apple can do what it does best concentrate on designing great products that offer rich functionality and are easy to use. On the flip side, being associated with a brand like Apple can be a remarkable boon for a supplier firm. Apart from the small novice firms, who may derive much of their business from Apple, even larger companies like Samsung use the relationship to their advantage. As noted, Samsung continues to compete with Apple in the mobile phone market. However, large orders from Apple allow Samsung to increase bulk production, which reduces manufacturing costs for its own mobile phone components. Another advantage for suppliers is that Apple has a reputation for innovation. Regardless of how specific products have performed and despite missteps that have occurred, people expect Apple to come out with something new on a regular basis and eagerly anticipate these products. To a certain extent, this shields Apple suppliers, who will continue to see new demands for their goods and services. It should be noted, however, that failing to please Apple can spell doomsday for a small or medium-sized supplier that has built its business around Apple product sales. If suppliers do not maintain high-quality goods at the right price, Apple has the positioning to replace them with another competitor. The Bottom Line Apple needs suppliers, and suppliers need Apple. It's a streamlined relationship that is often mutually beneficial, though, at times, it can create tension suppliers have major exposure to Apple and its overall market performance. Financial reports of supplier companies are frequently used by market analysts to project sales for Apple products, and investors also often look to Apple's underlying suppliers for insights on Apple's performance as well as more granular investment opportunities independently.